everybody, it's Jennifer with The Family Fudge and welcome to Bunches of Lunches. Today I'm going to be sharing with you our lunches from the week and I'm also going to give you a little bit of an update on what we've been doing and how we were affected by Hurricane Dorian. So come along with me today and I will share it all with you. Hey guys and welcome to Monday. Now this week's going to be a little bit different because number one, today is Labor Day so there's no school but also because of Hurricane Dorian, schools have been canceled the entire rest of the week. So that means all lunches from home. Right now we're all prepped and ready to go. I think we have everything we might need, but we're just gonna have to wait and see. Now as of right now, the weather looks perfectly fine. It's nice and sunny, it's not pouring down rain. It just looks like a normal day. But then also because of the storm, the installation of our kitchen countertops has been postponed. So we're still dealing with no countertops in our kitchen, but I am thankful that I have a stove and a microwave. We have power in our house, so that's really all I need to make a fun, delicious lunch. Let me show you what I'm making today. The first thing I'm grabbing for is this coconut oil spray, and I'm gonna add just a little bit of this to my griddle pan here because I'm getting ready to make some delicious quesadillas. Now, for my kids, they really only like quesadillas with just cheese. No chicken, no meat, nothing else. Let me know in the comments down below what you like to put in your quesadillas. I'd love to get some new ideas. Now, where we used to live in California, there was this little Mexican restaurant and I would always order the quesadillas with carnitas. So it was just the cheese and the shredded pork and it was so, so good. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to find a similar restaurant here in Florida. So next time we go back to visit our hometown, I definitely want to stop by that restaurant. Because in my opinion, they make the best quesadillas ever. The next thing I'm adding to our lunches today is some mango. These mangoes are perfectly ripe. They are super sweet and delicious. I know my kids will love them. Next up, I'm going to prepare some cucumber. And you guys will probably notice that I use cucumber at least once or twice, or maybe even three times for lunches during the week because it happens to be one of my kids' favorites. So I usually buy three or four each week. One of the things I like to do to keep them sort of fun and interesting is cut them in different ways. For today's lunch, I decided to go ahead and cut them into little sticks instead of just slicing them in circles. So now these kind of look like little cucumber fries and these will be perfect for dipping as well. Now normally I'd give the kids some ranch to dip in but I thought I would change it up today and put some hummus instead. This is just regular classic style hummus, it's not spicy. Now in this very last section, I'm going to add just a little bit of a sweet treat. And you definitely don't have to do this, but I like to use extra silicone liners. These really just make the lunches look more fun and colorful. In each of these, I'm just gonna add a few of these little panda cookies. These are actually the Hello Panda chocolate filled biscuits. And then last but not least, since we are at home today, the kids are just gonna be having some water. We definitely stocked up on plenty of water because we're not sure what to expect with Hurricane Dorian. Lunch is over now and here's how we did. So they really enjoyed their lunch, but I'd say next time I'd probably give Lily just two pieces of quesadilla instead of three. Hey guys, and happy Tuesday. So right now I'm about to make the kids lunches. Last night and today we were supposed to be hit by Hurricane Dorian, but really it just looks like a regular day. Believe it or not, for today's lunch I'm gonna be cooking this pre-made lasagna because it's been defrosted for over a day. Definitely need to cook it today. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this into the oven right now because it's gonna take the longest for sure. And while it's cooking, I can prepare everything else. So pretty much everything that I'm putting into today's lunch, I was going to make for dinner last night. So anytime I make spaghetti or lasagna, I always like to serve a side salad to go along with it. So to go in the salad, the first thing I'm gonna do is thinly slice up some cucumber. And then I also want to add in some carrots as well, but I only have baby carrots. So I just went ahead and cut those into little strips as well. That way they can fit better in the salad. Another thing I love to serve with spaghetti or lasagna is is garlic bread. Now we've never actually tried these before. I think that they're new. They're actually cheese filled garlic bread sticks. I know that's a very long name, but don't they look delicious? 
Now whenever you buy this frozen garlic bread or garlic bread sticks, they're actually fully cooked. All you have to do is put them onto a baking sheet and then pop them into the oven for a few minutes. That way they can get nice and warm and sort of toasty on the outside. And now I can go ahead and pop them into the oven for about 10 minutes and they should be done around the same time as the lasagna. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and throw together those side salads. I'm adding a separate bowl here just to make it a little bit easier for the kids to eat. I always think it's easier to eat salad from a bowl versus a plate. And I get questions all the time on where I get these trays. They actually come in a set. I get them at Walmart and it comes with the tray, the bowl, a plate, the cups, and the utensils for only $5. It's such a good deal. I'm gonna keep this salad dressing on the side. That way the kids can add as much as they want right when they're ready to eat it and the salad won't get all soggy. Now just with like all of my lunches, I am gonna include some fruit. I thought it would go really easy and add just a little cutie orange. These just fit perfectly right in here. Again, you don't have to add the silicone liners. I just think it makes it look a lot more fun and colorful. And speaking of fun and colorful, I decided to pull out my drawer of eyes. I love these little eye picks and I have lots of different shapes and sizes in here. But I think today, instead of using the regular eye picks, I'm gonna pick the glasses. Now, a sweet subscriber of mine a long time ago sent these to me, and they're definitely some of my favorites. Here's a closer look so you can really check them out. Aren't they so cute? So now it's been about 40 minutes and our lasagna is finally done. I think the back got a little bit dark, but that's okay, it's still gonna taste great. Right now, my entire house smells like the Olive Garden, no joke. Now, I'm pretty sure Mackenzie and Jackson will love this. I'm not quite sure if Lily will eat it. Right now, she tends to be my pickiest eater, so I'm gonna give her just a little piece. And then I almost forgot about our breadsticks, so I'll go ahead and move the ranch over. That way, I can put our cheesy garlic breadsticks right in here. And just so you guys can have an idea of what these are like, they are cheesy and melty, and they smell so good. And then of course, last but not least, the kids are just gonna be having water today. In fact, most of the time when we're at home or if we're at the Disney parks, they just drink water. We're done with lunch now. Now this teal one is Jackson's. He liked everything. This middle one is Lily's. She did not like her salad and she wasn't a huge fan of the lasagna, unfortunately. And Mackenzie was a fan of everything, but I probably could have given her a little bit of a smaller piece of lasagna. It was kind of too much. That's what the great thing about making a big lasagna is we'll have leftovers for a while. Hey guys, and welcome to Wednesday. Pardon my voice, it is super early, <clears throat> but pretty much the storm has passed and it didn't hit us super hard, so we're thankful for that. But because of that, the wait times at the parks are really low, so since school has been canceled, we're headed to Disney World. There's our boat. We allowed to take the ferry instead of the monorail because I think it's a lot faster. It might not be as cool. I know my kids love the monorail, but I feel like we could fit more people on the ferry, which makes it faster. But as you can tell, it's not quite as crowded today. Not as empty as I thought it would be, but check it out. We have the show. I love the show. So Main Street is definitely not as busy. A little bit more crowded than I was expecting, but not too bad. The weather is awesome, it's not so hot. But you guys, it's starting to rain. That's okay, we're ready. We have our umbrellas, we have our ponchos, and we're headed to Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. This ride normally has a huge long wait, and so we usually never do this ride. But right now, it is super short. This line is actually really fun because there's a lot of things to look at. There's some interactive elements the kids can play with. So it's not a bad wait at all. That ride was awesome. I'm so glad we did it when it was earlier and not so crowded. That's one that we can never get a fast pass for with our annual passes. So it's rope drop or nothing. So we're gonna go hop on a few more rides and then we're gonna figure out what to do for lunch. 
Normally we like to bring our lunches to save on money, but since we left so quickly this morning, we didn't have time to pack our lunch. So I'm thinking corn dog sounds pretty good. That is a good looking line. Not too bad at all. Buddy, buddy, go buddy, buddy. Okay guys, so I'm gonna have to do this part as a voiceover because you definitely cannot post a video with a Small World song on it. You will totally get in trouble. So something I love to do anytime we're in the park is check and see what's available to order on my mobile phone. It makes ordering food at Disney so much easier and a lot faster. Like right now, we're actually not even off the ride and I can pull out my phone and quickly order exactly what we want for lunch. Then all I have to do is walk on over and it'll be ready for us to pick it up. Right now, one of our favorite places to eat at Magic Kingdom is at Casey's Corner. Over at Disneyland, they pretty much have the same restaurant, but it's called Coke Corner. This place is definitely on the more affordable side and it has lots of kid-friendly options like hot dogs and corn dogs. There's lots of french fries. These things are large enough for the kids to share so that definitely saves on money. And they also have some really unique food options like loaded corn dog nuggets, fried pickle topped french fries, just weird things that are kind of fun to try. So no, I've gone through and built our order to feed my family if six is gonna cost almost $30, which by Disney standards is pretty good. But like I said, we get a few things and we share, so it's not too bad. Now we're gonna hop off the ride and head on over. Good job, buddy. Oh. <laughs> So now we're sitting down at Casey's Corner. It was surprisingly easy to find a seat on this day since the park wasn't very crowded. So here are the little corn dog nuggets. There's so many in there. Definitely good for the kids to share. These also come with a side of either french fries or apple slices. I like to get both and the kids can just share those as well. I also got an order of the fried pickle french fries which look really interesting. And then for Griffin, I ordered a side of mac and cheese. He loves the mac and cheese in here. And this little side cup is only $3. Okay, give it a try. Try it. It's raw. You gonna blow on it? Ready? Bite it. Can you give it a thumbs up? Is it yummy? Mm-hmm. Thumbs up. <laughs> Is it good? See you tomorrow! Hey guys, and welcome to Thursday. For today's lunch, I thought it would be super delicious to throw together some meatball sandwiches. So I actually pulled these meatballs out of the freezer last night and I let them defrost in the fridge. They're fully cooked, so they really just have to be heated all the way through. And these are actually really delicious Italian style meatballs, which are perfect for this recipe. Well, it's really not a recipe, it's more just a cooking method. There's not much to it, it's super easy. Now I'm just making sandwiches for the four kids, so I'm just gonna put a few meatballs in this little glass dish. Now I'd actually forgotten that these meatballs are pretty big, so I'll probably have to cut them in half. All I'm gonna do is pour some marinara sauce all over the top. So now I'm gonna pop this into the microwave for about five minutes or until the meatballs are heated all the way through. Then in a separate dish, I'm actually gonna be adding the rolls, but technically these are actually hot dog buns. You could go ahead and use an Italian roll for this, but hot dog buns are what I have, so that's what I'm going to use. Well, I did go ahead and cut those meatballs in half just so they would fit inside our buns a little bit better. And now I'm gonna to top each one of these little rolls with some mozzarella cheese. And I'm definitely not skimping on the cheese here. Now while those are in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare some fruit skewers, which is really hard to say, fruit skewers, yes. So I'm gonna use a combination of strawberries and green grapes for this. This is very simple to do, but it looks really fun. Next, I'm gonna take some carrot and some cucumber and peel them. And then with the cucumber and the carrot, I'm going to use my crinkle cutter and I'm gonna cut these on the diagonal so I'm left with a really long piece. 
This is just a really quick and easy way to make veggies look a little bit more fun and interesting. It's time to plate it up so the kids can eat, and then we can get on to our class. And then in this separate liner, I put a little strawberry yogurt. This is, this is actually the Oikos Triple Zero Greek yogurt. Now I definitely was trying to skimp on the sugar here because I know that this class we're going to is gonna have a lot of sugar. And then for the drink, you guys probably guessed it, the kids are just gonna have water. Again, I'm trying not to give them any extra sugar here because that's gonna come later. What is over now? This lunch was a huge hit. Mackenzie and Jackson ended up sharing one sandwich and Lily and Griffin ended up sharing one sandwich as well because they were kind of big. All of the leftovers went into the fridge and we can definitely have those later. Hi. Do you know what we're doing today? Uh, yeah. What are we doing? Uh, we're going to get some candy sushi. You're going to make it. <gasps> and Jackson and Kenzie and me. We are here at Epcot right now. It is intensely hot, but it's still pretty windy. <laughs> Yay. Now this class is pretty popular and it does sell out. So if you want to do it, make your reservation ahead of time. And it does cost $10 per person but you get to keep everything that you make and they even send you home with some recipe cards so you can make some at home. I've had sushi before. I've had sushi before. How many likes sushi? You really like the sushi? Well, this isn't gonna taste anything like that. But it is gonna be pretty delicious. Lots of sugar, so hey, keep your mouth open. guys and welcome to Friday. Now for today's lunch I've pulled out all of my Star Wars themed lunch items. I have my good to go drinks, my cookie cutters, my snack containers, and some kind of weird looking napkins. Now for today's lunch I'm starting with a lunchtime staple around here. Of course that means PB and J. I think the kids eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich at least once a week. It's pretty popular. So I went ahead and made four of these sandwiches so each of the kids has their own. Now I'll go ahead and close these up. And then next I'm going to use my Star Wars cookie cutters in the center of each sandwich. Now I'm actually going to leave these cookie cutters in the sandwich and present it to the kids just like this. That way they can actually eat the entire sandwich and not just the center. Now for our fruit today, I thought I would go with something that looked a little bit out of this world. This dragon fruit definitely makes me think of an exotic fruit that you might find on a different planet. Now I've actually used dragon fruit in lunches before, but I've only used the regular kind. This guy is actually purple and red on the inside. Look at that. That looks so interesting. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever tried this. Now for our vegetable today, I'm gonna give the kids some sugar snap peas. We haven't had these in quite a while and I'm pretty sure all the kids still like them. But what they're not super big fans of are the tips of these. They can get a little bit dried out and tough. So I'm just gonna go ahead and trim these tips right off. So now I went ahead and added these to our lunch trays and I also stuck in some baby carrots as well. This makes a really fun and colorful pattern. I've also included a little bit of ranch for dipping. In this section here I have just a few pieces of the dragon fruit. And then of course I have that pb and on there as well. I am going to go ahead and add a few little picks in here. I do have quite a lot of Star Wars picks. So I'm going to go with the BB-8 one and I'm going to stick this right into the dragon fruit. Now to go along with this, I'm also going to be adding in some Baby Bell cheese. Oh yes, and to go along with our Star Wars theme, I went ahead and removed some of the wax coating with my little star-shaped cookie cutter. This is such a fun and easy way to decorate your Baby Bell cheese. Next I'm adding one little treat container. These are really, really tiny, and inside I fit some of these teeny tiny Chips Ahoy. And then to finish off this lunch, we have some special Star Wars drinks. Two of these are fruit punch and two of these are grape flavored. I have an R2-D2, a Stormtrooper, Chewbacca, and Darth Vader. Now I used to have a Yoda one, but he got lost somewhere. So I'll go ahead and place these right on the tray. And that is everything in today's lunch. Are you ready? Yeah! We're here at Hollywood Studios to check out the new Star Wars and land. Me. And me! And you're here too. 
Now, I think it's gonna be just like the one in California. Do you yeah. think it is? Yeah. So we're just gonna check it out real quick. We made it to the Star Wars area. Now apparently they have all the same rides and the same snacks as in California. And we did get to experience those already. We have a, we have a separate video on that. I'll go ahead and link it right here if you want to check that out. Oh, we found the blue milk, you guys. And here's something that they don't have in California. Shade. This is so nice. This looks amazing. Now that ride is really fun, but we're gonna go ahead and pass on that today. Maybe head on over to something else. Right now, this only has a 45 minute wait, which is super good, considering it just opened a few weeks ago. What are you doing, miss? Are you pressing buttons? <laughs> Oh, good helper. Thank you, sister. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you.